Welcome to the Whiteman Lecture. The Whiteman Lecture Series was established 20 years ago to honor Wendell Whiteman. It seems particularly fitting that we welcome the CEO of Caterpillar to Monmouth College. The very first lecture back in 1992 was Mr. Oberhelman's predecessor at CAT, the late Chairman Lee L. Morgan. It is my privilege now to welcome our 2012 Whiteman Lecture, Doug Oberhelman. Thank you, Michael, for a very warm introduction and greeting. And I do want to introduce uh, Beth Tyre. And I'm, uh, Beth Tyre, Tyre, I'm sorry. Beth, where are you? Right here. Would you stand up, please? Uh, we have nominated Beth to be on the Monmouth College Board as a Caterpillar uh, leader and, and uh, represent us at Monmouth. She's a Monmouth graduate as well, and I wanted to make sure that you all got to meet her and, and then we'll see her at lunch. So, Beth, thank you. The 20 years of this lecture series is, is important and I think uh, quite serious. Uh, Maureen was telling me that other great leaders have been up here and one of the Whiteman brothers told me before I came over here that right after the speaker usually gives a speech here, good things happen to him. So I nuzzled up a little more closely to him and said, please uh, make some of that rub off on me. So there's another lesson there I think for the students that we have to have open walls here in our world. No matter what happens, 95% of the world's consumers live outside this country. And we can play like we have been in the past, where we are a third of the GDP of the world, or we can figure out how to go after 95% of the employed of the consumers and employees in the world that don't live in the United States and figure out a way to trade with them and grow our own country as a result of that. That's what I like to do. Have you gotten involved? Have you screamed bloody murder about what's going on to our state? Don't have to answer, don't raise your hand. But what I get when I am around my business buddies, CEOs in the state, right behind you, Doug, go get them. And I look at them. <laughs> and for some reason we're not there. But this is the type of government we're gonna get if we're not careful. So I learned an awful lot about that. That's why I started this talk with growth is good in the world. There's lots of opportunity. So we dream big. We have to. Seven billion people wanting to live like this is opportunity, in my opinion. And let's go after it. So I'll conclude on that and kind of a big thought of opportunity, particularly of entering the labor force for you in the next couple of years. Think about the opportunity ahead of us for the next 20 years. We cannot imagine what's going to come down around our shoulders in the next 20 years. It's going to be good, it's going to be bad. There'll be bad bumps on the road, but overall, tremendous opportunity for all of us. Again, I heard a great quote the other day, and that is, the only competitive advantage any country has is its education system. That's the only way any country can compete over time, is education. And you wonder about that. And you wonder about it. I mentioned accountability a few minutes ago. Uh, my dad was part of the greatest generation. Our dads were part of the greatest generation. There's still some great people out here today, and I see them every day in our company. Young people, old people that want absolutely have the greatest, highest values and want to work as hard as they can. But I think society has changed a lot, and we've all got some responsibility in that to fix it. And the uh, next and last question ends up in an endorsement for education. I think we'll, we'll call that a, a, a lecture series. Thank you very much. Thank you.